Hey all, welcome back to my channel Pi Spark Puzzles. In the last video, we discussed the first question of the Nagaro data, engin data engineering interview, and this is the second question, part two of that continuation. Okay, uh, these two data frames we are having. One first one is medication, and the second one is prescription. Okay, this is our DF1. So DF1, and this is our DF2. Okay. What is the pro problem statement now? Find the medication that were prescribed by at least three different doctors. Okay, these are the relevant columns. You can see sample data frame which I have you know, just pasted it here. Medication ID, medication name, one, two, three, four, five, then medication A, medication B, like that. Okay, then this is a prescription DF. And these are the prescription ID, doctor ID, medication ID. Okay, so my cluster is up and running. And I have you know, created a data frame for you to not wait, waste much time here. And we will just already you have seen the data frame. This is like the same thing, which you know I have uh, uh, like I can show you also. This will be the same thing. Our command is running. So this is the same thing, right? whatever we have seen earlier now we want to get the medication which were prescribed by at least three doctors so what we need to do we need to join this uh, medication df uh, prescription df with the medication df okay so let us join this prescription df let me name this data frame as uh, joined df prescription df dot join medication df and what column we need to join? Prescription DF dot medication ID is equal to medication DF dot medication ID. Okay, already I have copied medication DF dot medication ID. Is equal to prescription DF dot medication ID. So I have joined the data frame and let us see that. Okay, it is double equal to. Let us see the join data frame also. Join df dot show. This output for this. Okay, so we have joined data frame. Nothing much fancy here. Oh, all the results we are getting. Now what we want, we want to group by on the basis of uh, medication name, right? And we want to aggregate a distinct uh, count of the doctor, okay? On the basis of medication name, like how many doctors have prescribed that? So medication count, medication, distinct count. What we need to uh, provide here on which this is the this will be the join df join df dot group by on basis of uh, medication name then we will be doing the aggregation on uh, count distinct distinct on doctor id ID and will be uh, let me alias it as you uh, know dot alias doctor count okay now let me run this now let us visualize this data frame also now after this step you might be getting like what you know what will be the third step but we just need to filter out the result that's all our question is solved actually so you can see here like prescribed at least by three doctors right so medication b is prescribed medication a is prescribed and medication a is prescribed by three doctors now just in this step only i think we can solve the question dot filter your doctor count is equal to three the 
Du coup, du coup. Allez. Yeah. So this was our you know solution for this uh, question. I hope you like this video and uh, in the interview, the interviewer asked to solve this question both in the SQL way as well as in the PySpark way. So I have shown you in the PySpark way. Uh, in the SQL way, I want uh, you to give me answer and I will be posting the SQL uh, query answer like in within uh, day after tomorrow and I'm expecting some answers from you all to, you know, to have the proper interaction and get the feedback whether you are you know, getting this video understanding the things and any doubt and one person asked me about the two questions and definitely like uh, tomorrow i will be sharing the, the third question also i know it's uh, quite late but tomorrow definitely you can get the third question also sorry for a bit delay i was busy in something so yeah please subscribe my channel and do let me know your feedback and share with your network they will be uh, they are going to give the interview for data engineer for Nagaro. This question will be very helpful. And if they are going to give for another, another MNC, similar question you can accept, right? Because if you are giving an interview for a data engineer, which involves PySpark or Databricks or you know Azure, this questions you might accept, right? If they are running in the parallel big data world, you can get this question. So that's all for this video and thank you.